So I've just turned up to help on this work party to create a new visitor centre here at Bonds Mill Bridge with the old gun turret next door to it. And we're cleaning the paintwork off to give it a new lease of life and look a bit prettier. We find it difficult to get sufficient good team leaders on the canal to look after the volunteers that come forward to make sure there's sufficient work for them when they do come forward because we don't want to keep people hanging about and there's a lot, fair amount of work to organise the job that a team leader does. Getting materials ready, making sure the right materials are on site when they turn up, keeping them busy when, when they come to help. So that's important. And that there isn't a week goes by as a team leader that I don't believe, and I know, that the type of work that we're trying to do on the Trust now and all the details that go with it, all the organisation, the health and safety, auditing, all the aspects that a big company like the one I was with in Stonehouse with 2,000 full-time employees, we don't have to do on the canal as well. And all those aspects come into the work that we do. And as team leaders, obviously, we get involved with a fair amount of that. But it's important that we recognise that as volunteers, we've got one paid employee on the trust. And we have to do all those aspects as volunteers that normally a company would pay people to do. Which is significant and a big task. And very difficult to achieve as well. So I think... Despite all the similarities we have, major similarities, as a, a to pretty well totally volunteer canal trust, with major organisations of two or three thousand people, we're doing a brilliant job. So we're always looking to do it better, we've made some significant changes recently to become more like a totally professional organisation and I think they're showing that it is a big job to do it and you can only pat the volunteers on the back who are making that happen. So if you feel like becoming one of those volunteers, please do. I'm Reg Gregory and I'm the manager of the Western Depot, which is where we are right now. Uh, we have a function here which is to support um, the people who are actually opening the canal. Uh, the functions here are many and varied. They can be anything from uh, repairing uh, a faulty tyre or um, doing a rebuild on an engine. We could be making brackets. Um, we could be anything that supports uh, the uh, work that Bob and his colleagues have to do. So the amount of jobs that we do are almost endless and so the volunteers that we have uh, we welcome as many as we can get and uh, no matter what their skills or what they'd like to do we're almost certain to have um, something that they would, they would like to do. Well today we have uh, as usual quite a few uh, jobs to do and we're, we're fortunate that we've been uh, had a lot of volunteers to come and help us. Uh, the jobs are, um, we are getting a 40 foot container uh, which we need desperately for more storage. That's going to my left out on the yard and we want to lay some slabs so we get it nice and firm and level to, to, to take the weight. Uh, so that's one job that's being uh, done at the moment. We have a four inch pump here which um, is a, a nice old bus. It's uh, very solid, very old and does an excellent job but it actually does need to be um, uh, serviced and rebuilt. We're just finishing off our, our workshop and there's some bracketry that's going to be done as well. Uh, there's a number of um, other functions. We just had some timber delivered because our fence is uh, a little bit shaky so that's, that's going to be installed shortly. That'll keep um, Ray and Co for, uh, busy for a, a few days. We have some engineering works that uh, need to be done. There's a clamshell that needs to be sorted out. That's also been uh, welded up and made. And quite a few other functions all, all going on at the same time. We have a project to make uh, two boats. The steelwork has been uh, bought in in its correct shape. Uh, that's to say it's been bent to the correct shape. And our job is to put that boat together, weld it up, put strengtheners in it so that it's fit for purpose. Uh, it's not a particularly big boat, it's uh, roughly six metres in length. It's not going to have an engine, so it's going to be a, a work boat to 
put mud in it, any branches or anything like that that we've got to take away from the canal. So that, that's quite a, a sizable project. Now just outside here, this blue container, this is going to be a gas uh, cylinder storage unit. It's currently upside down. And what you're seeing there with the holes is going to be um, for the gases to be uh, ventilated out and we'll have a mesh over it. That will be going to my left uh, of the yard and uh, that'll be all painted up and we'll have the appropriate signs to it. Today has been a busy day. We've had 89 people through here on our second day of opening here at Bonds Mill Gatehouse. We've had a really interesting couple of days because we've had so many people come here simply because of its heritage and history connections. That's going back to when this was a woolen mill, which it was until the 1930s, and thereafter, when the Second World War came along, it became a very, very important shadow factory manufacturing gyroscopes by a company called Sperry Gyroscopes, an American company initially, and then they came to this rural air part of Gloucestershire away from the threat of bombs from the industrial areas of the Midlands. We're here welcoming people to the area. We're here to acquaint them with where they are and what this place was for. But here, more importantly, we're here to gather information from them. And there's an awful lot of family history uh, from this area because it's an engineering town Stroud and Stonehouse and this particular place here was very important during the Second World War. We need people to do that, we need people who are able to listen, to interpret what they've heard and then to, if you like, question just for that little bit of extra information and it is amazing what one finds out. Today we've had a person whose both grandfathers were tro owners, the owners of the very vessels which plied this canal, carrying coal and corn into Stroud for the woolen industry. It's totally engrossing, it's totally interesting. Saturdays and Sundays during the summer we are looking for people with an inquiring mind, with the ability to listen, with the ability to further question and absorb all the information that will come in through the door which is so valuable to us and to other people for the future. If you are interested in performing that uh, interesting task, then all you have to do is go to our website, cotswoldcanals.com, look for the heading, become a volunteer, and it's all covered in there. There's even a, a link to click to, whereby you can register who you are and what you are, or you can simply email, or you can telephone us, or what's probably best is come along one day and have a chat to us in the centre.